A little bit more because I like the dishes. <laughs> Gabriele, can you do the salmon pasta? Sure. No cream. Okay. But creamy. Sure. Um, salmon pasta is a very quick recipe, but it looks great. So put the water on for the pasta right away. A big pan on the stove. If you use an aluminum or iron pan, add a drop of oil. Even less than that. A small piece of kitchen paper and give it a wipe with the slightly warm pan to clear any oxides. For three servings, a small amount of butter. Gabriele, I use extra virgin olive oil, that's fine. But butter goes with the salmon. Smoked salmon, 100 grams. Chop it with four stabs. It should be chopped fairly coarsely. Not too finely or it will lose shape. Inside use the butter that should not become brown. It must stay light in color. And you pound it, you break it down, and you reform it. Cook slowly until the salmon begins to stick slightly. It will turn all white and try to stick to the pan a bit. When the salmon has been brown, you include half a glass of dry white wine. The daring one, they can even use just a little glass of dry vodka, okay? Not lemon vodka, not peach vodka, just dry. The wine will dry in 20 seconds. Now, an important choice awaits you. Make it white, make it pink. I make it pink and add it half a tablespoon of tomato paste. Mix the paste with the salmon. Notice how it attaches a bit. There it is. Let it stick a little because it gains a great flavor. Don't go overboard with the paste or it will taste only of tomato and it shouldn't be so. When it looks toasted like this, Take it off the heat briefly. You said you wanted it without cream, but still creamy. So we will make a cream sauce, a smart bechamel, with half a liter of milk and 40 grams of flour. The half liter mark is here, it's just a bit off. Half a centimeter and 40 grams of flour, that's it. What's here? If no flour, if you don't want to use flour, cornstarch will work too. Inside the cold milk with cold flour, a cold spoon and a cold pitcher, mix everything while it's cold. Inside the salmon, place directly in the colander because if there happens to be a small lump of flour, <laughs> stop it. Set it on the stove and let it come to a boil. You should mix quite often. Please do this task here using a little spatula. In just two minutes, it will become thicker. You'll see the bubbles when they form. Look at the density of the sauce. If it is like that, it's fine. If it's too dense, just add a splash of milk or water. If it's not thick enough, keep boiling for two minutes and then you remove it. Nice salmon color, huh? Be careful not to overdo the concentrate. To enhance this salmon pasta and make it even more special, then at last we put a truly special ingredient on top for this recipe. Meanwhile, let's put salt in the water because it's time to add the pasta. And a little salt, but not too much in the salmon dish. Pepper to taste. I wanted smooth penne, but they're hard to find. I took these half macaroni. Mezzamanica are fine too. Or any pasta you like, as long as it's good. You decide the amount, okay? Go by feel. Usually it's about 80, 90, 100 grams per person. Some interesting alternatives could be, for example, instead of the concentrate at the exact same time. You can add grated zucchini or very thinly sliced zucchini or at the end, add some raw arugula on top, but we'll try something different. More elegant, I feel. Cook until it's just right. A little splash of pasta water, not much. On the heat and stir. Look at that gorgeous color. Isn't that a beautiful color? Or isn't it creamy? Look at her beauty. Let's prepare a nice plate for the picture. Look at how well it contrasts. The plate is a bit dark with the lovely pink pasta. Isn't it great? A nice posh plate, but let's add a bit more because small dishes make me feel gloomy. To make it a bit special, just add some zest on top of lemon peel or orange peel, whichever you prefer, and it will be truly special. But on top, not combined with the pasta, so you can taste the difference, the contrast. A bit of fresh pepper to taste, of course, and then add a bit of fennel on top, parsley or chives if you like. 
Gabriele, I add ricotta and you should add it too. I do it with boiled potatoes and do it with the potato. I gave you some guidance and then you can do it a little wildly as you wish. A bit of pepper for me too. Parsley is optional if you like. If you have fresh fennel, it works well. Good or fresh chives though, okay? Cut well. Oregano, why not? Gabriele, it's a recipe from the 1980s. So what? Food doesn't need to follow trends, it should follow me. It follow you, it follow itself. So what is ragu pasta? It's from the 15th century. Let it be. Tasting like the bomb is absolutely one of a kind because in a skillet, it will stay the best part of the recipe. Then there's the lemon zest I added on top and the pepper. That are a match. Spatial. Prepare it this way and you won't regret it. Um. Are you filming? You're doing the penny. No, the penny. Those aren't penny. I'm aging. Me too. You know it. I'm waiting for you. Should I go? Are you recording? Not that way, no. Go on. Today I'm a bit dazed, I mean. A minor key. A major. Om. Bim, 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 bim. Om. Um, yes, you were trying to play me, huh? Um, I'll do it. What is it? Not the enlightened one? Well, go for the cream. The cream. The pasta you want.